Okay, now this is that I'm live. Hello, 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 hello. So let's do this. Um, copy. Hi, Arius is in here. How are you? Okay, everybody, I'm sorry. I was having technical difficulties, but it looks like you guys find me. Hello, hello. Okay, so I see Danny. I got to make her moderator. Shelby, do you still have moderator rights? Yeah. You do. Adela, do you still have moderator rights? Sure. I just came in too. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what happened. I caught myself being fancy and scheduling it to start automatically and never had it. Okay. Thank you, Danny. So, everybody, I got my crew. They in the comments. They're going to work the comments for me. So, Adela, that damn Adela. My baby girl Shelby and Danny are moderators. So if we get any bots or anything, they're in here to manage that kind of stuff for us. So yay, yay. My very first knit along. I am so excited that everybody that is going to knit along with me that have your pattern. So for those that are questioning, that don't know what the knit along is about, this is the Orange Love Poncho that I partnered with Madeline Tosh to design. It is available on Ravelry and today is the official cast on. The cast on. Hey Kim, what you gotta do math? We, oh, you, you trying to reconvert cause you're using lower weight, got you. Um, the cast on starts today. You have six weeks to finish it. So it goes until April 26th, I believe is the date. And I have a Ravelry group that you can join. And in that Ravelry group, guys, I did a tutorial because I had quite a few folks that were interested, but they were uncomfortable with the bobbles and the cables that are in the pattern. So I put a tutorial together showing you how to do both. Are you talking to me? Oh, Kim, somebody's asking you what weight you're using. Maybe they can help you do the math. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm super excited. So if you are not following me on Instagram, and if you have not joined the Ravelry group, what you probably don't know at this point is the fabulous, fabulous, fabulous sponsors that we have. So Lola Bean is in here, and I have a box full of goodies that she sent me that I'm going to show you guys. Hi, everybody that's coming in. You have uh, West Knits. That's the sponsor. You have Magpie Fibers. That's the sponsor. You got Coco Knits. Somebody will win a Maker's Keep, a Orange Maker's Keep. Um, you have Hohi, Hohi. Shall we get my bag? Hohi. You will not that one. The the yes. You will. Someone, some lucky person will get an opportunity to win their very own Gigi Special Edition. Hohe bag. You have this just so, so, so very many. So many sponsors. It is bananas. Um, Skane Cocaine. Um, hold on, guys. Let me go in the Ravelry group. My brain is farting on me. I have Alexandra, the art of yarn here. She's a vendor, she's a sponsor. Hold on, guys, hold on. Let me get to the list. 
Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. So you got Jimmy Bean, of course. Lola Bean, I said that Coco Niss Birdie Parker is making something special. Shiny Wear Co. You guys know Birdie Parker. She does the earrings, the jewelry, the shawl clips. She's she I don't know what she's giving, but she said she was making something special for it. Shiny Wear Co. Remembrance Pottery. Fish Belly Fiber. Heidi K Designs. She's gonna give patterns. Yarn Social, Skank Cocaine, I said, Magpie, I said, Hohe, I said. Steven, I say, Espas Trico is a um, sponsor. Yasmin, that makes my earrings that I have on. She is giving a gift certificate. You can get your earrings of your choice. Um, one Geek to Craft All, Mrs. Brown Bags. Miss Jody is sending from the Grocery Girls the Adela um, bag with the um, Adela fabric. So that's coming. Um, Sammy from the Littlest Stitch is a trend, uh, sponsor. Tracy from the Grocery Girl says she was giving her whole sock catalog. Listen, guys, Spruce Lane Design, Chelsea Yarns, and there's so many other people that are in my notes that were sending me DMs because initially I was turning people away because I felt like I had enough. But the group is close to 800 people now. So... I was like, whoever has gifts, bring them on. I'll send somebody a shirt. Bring them on, huh? I'll send somebody a... Oh, Shelby says she'll send somebody a Mind Your Business shirt. That's up for grabs, too, a Mind Your Business shirt. So, yes, the group is close to 800. Last time I looked at it, it was 770-something. So not bad for my first time. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. So let's see. I'm going to check right now. Yep, it says 787 87 members right now. And the poncho pattern is close to being the top because as you guys know, my Bible shrug was the first, my first very popular pattern. And when I looked this morning, and it was that last night when I was talking to Adela, and my Bible Shrug has 277 sales to date, and the poncho, they, they are neck and neck. I have 277 sales for the poncho at this point. So just mind blown guys mind blown so before i show you what i have done so far on the poncho i would be remiss if i didn't address the state of our world right now so all of us are feeling hey tracy all of us are feeling the the effects of this virus right as my lola bean calls it the rona Right, the Rona got us all feeling some kind of way. The Rona all has us all trying to make sure we have everything in our house and just in general to be safe. Right? Hey, Libby. Hey, Cindy. Yay! Listen, can I tell you about my uh, self-esteem? I thought I was gonna be in here in this live with me, Shelby, Danny, and Adela, and I was gonna make them listen to me and make comments so I didn't feel like I was by myself. So thank you all so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. So anyway, my, my statement about the Rona, here's what I wanna say. If you're feeling nervous, that's valid, right? Hopefully nobody in here is sick. Hopefully nobody in here has anybody in their immediate life that's sick. But what I'm going to say to you guys is we need to try to focus on getting the facts and try to move away from the frenzy, try to move away from the panic and craft our way through it, right? We as makers have been preparing for this forever because I want one person in here to raise their hand and say they don't got enough yarn in their house to get them through if you have to be on lockdown for 14 days. I'll wait. So we got this, right? We got this. So I feel like everything that's been happening 
as far as the virtual knit nights that have been happening. Um, Adela had a shop update and she clearly told everybody before the update, excuse me, as well as after it, that don't wait around and don't be upset if you couldn't get something from her. There were other vendors out there that recently couldn't, you know, events have been canceled. So they have all this stock and they can't purchase anything or sell anything to go support them. So my whole message here, guys, before I start harping on what I have going on is collectively together, we can get through this together. We can stop the yarn shops from going under together. We can stop any dyers, any indie dyers or any designers from really having a financial impact that can make them potentially shut down together. We can do that. You guys with me? Everybody put up the emoji with your hand up. We could, we got this, right? What Tracy said, judging from my stash, we're going to be locked up forever, right? I, I understand. I understand. We got this, right? Yes. Hands up. I have enough yarn. If I'm quarantined, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Same here. I got enough books. Shelby got enough books. <laughs> There's my Trish. Hi, Trish. That's right. Hands up. We got this. Because he here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? I always tell you guys about, you know, me not being comfortable making sweaters and me not being comfortable having a knit along, right? Our, our This is powerful. This right here is powerful, right? So if we decide that we're going to get through this. If we decide that we're going to follow the rules, we're going to make sure we wash our hands, we're going to make sure we keep a distance, all of that good stuff, right? We will get through this. That's right. We can stitch together courage. We can work our way through this. Hands up. I love y'all. Yeah, we got this. So everybody keep doing the virtual knit nights. Keep you know, putting up that you need help. That's the other thing. Don't be too proud to beg. Don't be too proud to beg. If we don't know that you're in a situation where somebody needs to help you, we can't help you. So don't be too proud to beg. We good? Yeah? All the hands up. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> yes, I love y'all. That's right. We got this. Right. So is that Rhea? Um, so yes, as a community, we've had our issues, right? As a community, you know, you would have some people say that all of the issues with diversity and inclusion would separate us and cause a problem, right? We still here. We still standing. Folks are still flourishing. So together, together together i don't i don't have a together song and adela says all my songs have the same beat that is ria that is my ria denise dixon said she said if i could survive cancer i could do this that's right that's right denise that's right high denise. five denise that was my ria did i see um i thought i saw cc did i see cc i believe you did hey cecilia hey shayla you see cousin Shayla Shelby? Hey, cousin Shayla. <laughs> she, I, I saw Shayla. She said her son was with her, too. Hey, honey. <laughs> Rhea said your songs are a bop. That's right, Rhea. That's right. Look, let me think. I don't. I got to think of some words. Shut up, Adela. I got to think. I got to think. I got to think. To that beat. <laughs> The tutorials are, are up, boutique stitches. If you're in the group, actually, here's here's what I'll do. Um, Danny, I'm gonna text you the link. Come on in here and let's cast on. I okay. Know you wanna cast on? Yep. Come on. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Come, Come on. on. Until I need some more Come. words. You know, no, you, you wanna, you, on, yep, you I wanna got, make, oh, yeah, uh huh, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get. I got yarn. I got yarn. Come on in here. Let's cast on. Oh, ah, there you yes, go. You got it. Got it. I got. Mm, 
Shelby keeps getting kicked out. Danny, I am um I am going to send you the link to the the I could think the tutorial. And can you put the link in here? Every time you say tutorial, I think uh <laughs> Um, where is it? Videos. I'm coming, guys. Hold on. I want to give this to Danny so she can share it Smart. with the people. Okay. okay. Um, there she is. Okay. So the person that asked for the demo. Um, I just gave the link to Danny. She'll put it in here. I think the links are clickable from here. If not, join the My Ravelry group. And if you just search Gigi Made It Ravelry, you'll find the group. And you can get the link to it. Because it's listed, but it's private. It's not listed. It's unlisted. So you won't just find it by searching for it. So let's talk sponsors. So what I have done so that I am not overrun with gifts, if I have arranged for the sponsors to send this stuff directly to you, Danny and I will work together with pulling the names and we'll give the names to the sponsors and they'll send the stuff directly to you. Adela sent stuff to me. Um, Alexandra, the art of yarn sent stuff to me as well as Jimmy Bean. So that stuff I can show you. And I wanted to show you guys that today. You ready? So first, Adela is an overachiever. I needed one gift. I needed one gift. And my baby, just show her tail. So, Let me tell you, that green and that peach, baby. So this is Georgia Peach, and this is Romaine Calm. Georgia Peach and Romaine Calm. She sent me two sets of this. So one of you lucky folks will win two of these. Well, two of you lucky folks will win two skeins. One of Romaine Calm and one of Georgia Peach. And you guys know how everybody loves the Georgia Peach. So these two are lovely together because the Georgia Peach has specks of the Romaine Calm in it. So Somebody will have that. Hi, Texas. Yes, a marvelous any kind of maker day. Crochet, knit. So if you are a damn Della fan, you know that she just released, um, a pattern was just released that she collabed with Casapinka. And Adela was kind enough to also send two kits to make that olive pink shawl. So somebody will get this kit and somebody will get this kit. So you'll have enough to make the olive pink shawl. And I am going to um, reach out to Casapinka and see if I can get the patterns included. If not, I'll purchase the patterns. And put a copy in. Did you say who was damn Della? Shelby, I need you to block signature elements. You know is, right? <laughs> I know who it is. Block her. Who is damn Della? So, guys, again, I don't want to take them out of the plastic because I don't want to keep fondling all the yarn. But you have two kits. So, again, so that's one, two, three, four prizes so far from Adela. 
So one person will get one of each of these. One person will get <laughs> the kit. <laughs> and then if you were around for this is in the untangled, right? Right, Adela? Adela hates dyeing this color. And this is called Shades of Autumn. There was a massive pre-order that almost took my good girlfriend out. So I have four skeins of this. So this will be, um, this is fingering weight. So two, one of, two of them are fingering and two of them are DK. So two people, there'll be a set. I'm gonna give two and two away. So again, not for nothing. You need to be a part of this cow. I'm telling you the gifts are bananas. So let's talk about Adela again for a second. You guys know my Buckbeak sweater. You guys know that these colors, all of them, are done by Adela, right? I can pull out my Georgia peach. I can pull out some stuff. She has done some serious orange for me. And honestly, in my heart of hearts, I didn't think that she could wow me anymore with orange because I didn't think she could. So I opened a box of yarn and this lovely baby is in here. So she sent me three of these. And you guys ready for the name of this loveliness? This is called Gigi doesn't even have this orange yet. Laugh out loud. So three people will get a skein of this. This will make the perfect pair of socks. So everybody, please do me a favor and give Adela a round of applause. Because when I tell you she showed up and showed out for this, my very first cow. I love her more than I will ever be able to say, but everybody, hands up, hands up for that damn Della. She is, she is heart of gold. Tracy, you said it. She tried to play tough, but I'm here to tell you that she ain't. Okay, so that was Adela. Now, I met Alexandra of The Art of Yarn when I was at Stitches. And you're going to get this lovely project bag. Come on, everybody with me. Ooh, ah. And in this bag, you're going to get four skeins of her. The colorway is Espresso, and this is MCN, guys. Only the best. This is the MCN base. So you're getting four skeins of that in here. And Shelby and Adela are haters. Let me just say that. Ugh. We will quit our moderator jobs right now. Shelby and Adela are haters. So you're going to get four skeins of this. And I need to have a poll. When I opened up this gift... It was this bag. It was four skeins of this. And it was this. So who in here thinks that this was meant for me? And this is the gift. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. So somebody will also win this lovely bag full of goodies from Alexandra, the Art of Yarns. I put the orange back in there. See, Shannon believes me. I'm, I'm, I put it back in here. Danny, I put it in here. It's in here. This will also be a gift for someone. Um... And then the lovely people at Jimmy Beans provided us with 
the knit blockers. And this is a special one because this purple, sorry for the light glaring, but this purple set is special because all the donations from this goes to um, the Knitted Knockers Support Foundation. You know that company that makes the knitted boobs? So the proceeds from this, is it say 100%? The profits from every purchase are donated, yes. So the profit seeds for this are donated. So I have one of these to give away as well. So that was just, guys, to kind of let you see what I'm talking about when I say to you that the level of the sponsors is more than I could have expected, more than I ever expected. So $5 per, how much do they cost, Libby? So $5 per set, Libby is saying, goes to that company. So not only is it a great thing, because I don't know if anybody has ever used them. I have a set. Mine is the plain white ones. But they are great for blocking. Instead of having to have all those millions individual pins, those are fantastic. Okay, so they're $30. Of them purple. Well, that too. They're $30 this set. So $5 out of the 30 goes to the Knit Knockers. Ooh. So... That's a beautiful thing. What she said, my current boyfriend, Gigi's ex, is a sponsor. <sighs> We're not going to fight Adela. We're not going to fight Adela, is it? We're not going to fight Adela. Yes, yeah, so you can support Knitted Knockers on Jimmy Beans website i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna let her take me there shayla i'm not gonna do that this is a good day this is this is goodness we not we're not gonna fight now if we go live later on instagram we might have to use wire hanger so yeah for the to yeah i get what you're saying but you know i'm not i'm not paying the devil no attention so they are called knocker blockers knocker blockers yes Knocker blockers. Thank you. So, unless you don't follow me at all, that you are aware that this is Gigi Loves Orange. This was dyed for me by the folks at Madeline Tosh. It was named for me. This is on the vintage Tosh base. So, I would love if everybody that participated in the knit along all we just all was walking around the world with Gigi loves orange ponchos, but I know that that's far fetched. However, this yarn is fantastic. It is knitting up like a dream. Okay, it is knitting up like a dream. So this is where I am so far. I started before everybody else simply because I needed to do a tutorial to help out the folks that were unsure of bobbles and unsure of cables. So the other thing that I wanted this knit along to be about is a can-do attitude, right? So I don't want anyone to join that feels like they can't conquer anything that they wanna try. So that's why I did the tutorial because I can't tell you how many patterns I avoided simply because they had cables in them. How many patterns I avoided because they had bobbles until I just went ahead and tried, right? So you will see you have cables, but they're small cables, right? They're either two by two or two by one or two by three. They're not really big cables, so they're doable. And the bobbles are tiny as well. So. Cindy, so far, I'm not a fan of the bobbles. Sorry. That's okay. You don't have to apologize. If you don't want the bobbles there, don't do that part. I love texture. So this is what really sold me on the poncho. Outside of that, the I think this panel here, if I remember the numbers correctly, where this 
what I like to refer to as the business's location is about 38 stitches. So you really only have to do work, if you will, over 38 stitches. The rest of it is basic stockinette. You're going to knit down one way, purl back the other way, and only on the right side where you have any fancy business. So even if bobbles and cables are new to you, this is so doable. You're welcome for the tutorial. Denise, are you in my Ravelry group? Danny put the bobble, the, the uh, link to the tutorial in here, but it's definitely in the bobble, in the bobble, in the, um, in the Ravelry group. I just named your people the Gigi Hive. The Gigi Hive, okay. <laughs> Right. That's perfect. I like that. Yvonne said, concentrate on the 38. Correct. Because outside of that, you're just doing basic sti knit stitches and then purl stitches. On the back side, you're just going to work the stitches as they present. So when I say that, if you see a knit stitch, you're going to knit it. You see a purl stitch, you purl it. That's the back side. And then you're going to do all purling down the end. When you're on the right side, you knit until you get to that section. And that's where your business is. So the first couple of rows, you're going to probably do a couple different cables in one row. And then once you get to the bobbles, it's only one bobble per row. And it's a total of six, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So you'll have six rows of bobbles, but it's only one bobble for, per row. Unlike the cables, each row has multiple cables on it. That's doable, make it a little bit more narrow. You're welcome, Denise. Absolutely. And that's something that I learned uh, early on in, in my knitting journey. Once I could read my stitches, once I was comfortable with looking at the stitch and see what it's doing, it made it so much easier, especially if I had an issue and I had to go backwards. Yeah, so Talisha, once you get your business out of the way, like she said, concentrate on the 38, then you can pay attention to your Netflix because it's just basic. Cindy, make it larger in what respect? If it's in both ways, I'm trying to get the exact numbers for you, um, what you would cast on to, to make it larger in that respect or... The other way, you simply would just keep repeating until you got it. But as far as the um, this way, the width, I guess I want to say. I'm not a. Oh, Trish, you fancy. You said knitting around and then stick it. Not me. And don't stick me that you got to take scissors to you. You got to take hey, scissors hey, to hey, it. Hey, yes. Hey, hey, tell her to keep that to herself. Make it longer, meaning this way, Cindy. If that's the case, just keep going with your repeats. Because you know all you're going to be doing is making a rectangle, right? You're making a rectangle. If I remember correctly on the pattern, it's going to be 46 and a half inches. Hold on, guys. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're going to be doing this, repeating this until it's 46 and a half inches that way. And then you're folding it in half and you're seaming. So if you want it more than 46 and a half inches, then just keep doing your repeats. Now, as far as this way, because the cast on is 99 and then I think you increase to 108 stitches. So that's multiples of what? I think if you keep in that, so 99 and you increase nine stitches. So if you want to keep doing that, so if you do, I'm not a math person, but you start with 99 and you increase by nine stitches to get to the final, then you're going to wind up decreasing by nine stitches. So if you, Make your cast on an odd number 
and then add the nine so that you can decrease. You should be okay. Multiples of nine. Thank you. Okay, Nicole, I would have to be a real knitter to do that. Nicole's question was, do I alternate skeins? I probably should, but I never do. Case in point, this scarf right here. This yarn was dyed for me. This was a custom dye for me from Chelsea Yarns. And these first skeins, well, as you can see, if you look right in here, this part has a little bit more pink in it. If you go down here, this part has a little bit more yellow in it, right? Then I ran out. So I went back and she dyed it again and it was a totally different dye lot, right? Danny, you, was, you remember you was in the store and they were like, did you alternate skeins? Nope. I said, I'm just going to knit and it's going to be orange fading into more damn orange. So no, I never do. I probably should, but I don't. But I like this. I like this. So that is a thing. You know, that's the specialty, the uniqueness of hand dye yarn. Well, I'm glad you were here. Thanks for stopping in and enjoy the rest of your day. We appreciate you. So that's to answer the question about, uh, yes, I faded from orange to more damn orange. I, I was like, okay, it's going to work. And it does. It worked. So I know with the rules I should have, and I never understood why people ask that question, and I've always never done it, but I understand why, because with hand dyeing yard, the lots, the dyeing might be slightly off. However, I like my scarf just the way it is, orange to more damn orange. So. Of all the people that are in here, are you guys all casting on the poncho? Because you know that there's another portion of the castellan. Um, I would say just do a long tail. Actually, whatever your favorite cast on is, is fine. Whatever your favorite cast on is fine. Now, honestly. Casting on a sweater. Okay, so casting on today. Okay, perfect. So you guys know that there's two layers to this because everybody, like the young lady says she didn't like bobbles or if you're just not a poncho person, right? You can still be a part of the cow if you do anything orange, right? Anything orange, orange to more damn orange. <laughs> right, that's a no colorway name. <laughs> Orange to more damn orange. Yes. And there's nothing wrong with acrylic yarn, Denise. Not It's yarn. And you're going to have a beautiful poncho. End of story. Period, point blank. Oh, go ahead, Yvonne. You on row 19. Go, girl. Go, girl. Go, girl. The pattern is on Ravelry. Cheryl. If you search for orange love poncho, it'll come up. So thank you for saying that, Talisha. I would love if the world was filled with orange, but not everybody loves orange the way that I do. So whatever color you choose to make your poncho, that's fine. You're still eligible. You're still eligible. <clears throat> Row seven, good stuff. You waiting for your yarn? Okay, okay. We got time though, because seriously, guys, once you get through your first repeat section, what will ship at the end of the month, Libby? Who Libby talking to?
Libby. Yes, you are the cheerleader. You always, they don't know. Ooh, Teal's going to be pretty. Okay, you're crocheting something into your yarn is sold out. That's a silent scream. I didn't want to scream at you guys. Yay. Okay, so you guys can still. Ooh, my eyes got warm. Hold on, please. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So Gigi Loves Orange is sold out. But Mad Tosh, this is vintage, and they have Mad Top vintage in all sorts of colors. So knock yourself out. Any worsted weight yarn will. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver Carrot. Ooh, I bet you that's going to be pretty. I'm doing a poncho in purple. Okay, stay away from my daughter because she'll try to take it from I'm you. I'm going to steal it. But, oh, God. So, okay. So, Libby is saying if you guys do want the Gigi Loves Orange, you need to order it now. Okay, we got a brown one in the house. Wow. What kind of purple? Shelby said what kind of purple? Is it the Shelby purple or is it? Adela, I want a yarn. You're going to cast on a pair of socks. Okay, Judy. Orange socks. Olive in two U's has a color name, Florida orange. That's gorgeous. Okay. Summer showers. And yeah, yeah man. Listen, I now somebody told me they went to the store, the Jimmy Bean store, and it was sold out. But I was thinking it was just in the store. I didn't realize that it's sold out, sold out. It will come in a couple of weeks, but it says sold out. You can still order it. Okay. Thank you, guys. It's sold out because of you guys. So thank you. Thank you for that. What? what? Nadia, I'm an admin. Okay, somebody got her. All right, never mind. Okay, we got a red. Red was my um red was my mom's favorite color. So Libby is saying you guys have to order it on. So cheers to you has a orange called Safety Dance. Okay. They're getting her, guys. Lola Bean, okay. Yes. Okay, why does Nadia keep showing up? I just um You got it. Okay. I just did the high thing. Okay. All right. I think I hold on guys. You can block her. So let me unhide her. And then can I block her, remove? Yeah, I think that she's removed. I'm sorry, guys. It seems like we have attracted some nonsense. Okay. Oh, okay, that sounds nice. If I see her come up again, I'll I'll block her. So you're using Tosh Vintage in the gilded colorway. Okay. Yeah, there was a lot of bots on Grocery Girls Live the other day. Somebody's using Malabrigo. Okay, look up Hand Eye Diva. Shoot them an email. They'll die. If, but I did bad things at their shop, so I can't... <laughs> <laughs> I'm on row three of the first week. Oh, you got you some Gigi Loves Orange. Yay. So that is really, I'm excited to hear that it's sold out. I'm, I'm really excited about that. That just made my, 
my eyeballs burn a little bit. So again, Ravelry Group is there. You have a ton of experience. All The experience goes from one end to the other in that group. So I'm so very sure that you can get help. And Danny, maybe we we need to do a help thread in the um in the group. Yes, thank you. Uh, everybody is starting to share where you can get orange if you need it. But just know, honestly, I would love if they were all orange. They do not have to be orange. If you want to do another color, that's fine. If you were looking for, you can still watch it, Freaky Geek. It's just not live, but it's up there. It was really fun. I love them. I love Jody and Tracy. They keep me company while I'm working. Um, so back to the knit along and the poncho. If you're making the poncho. Whatever color you want to do is fine. You just need to be in the group um, sharing updates because I have so many gifts. I might just start doing some random in between as we're going along. Um, the hashtag Denny or Shelby or Adela type it in the group is GG Orange Love Cal is the hashtag. So if you are sharing it, please use the hashtag on social media for me. GG love no GG orange love poncho no GG orange love cow it's worsted weight Harry Winkle has a beautiful orange actually her my um my one of my favorite sweaters is her her yarn Thank you guys. So make sure you're using that hashtag when you post about it. This way I can stay on top and track and share and support you. Thank you. That's fine. This is this is a Coco Knits um, sweater. This yarn is Emma's Emma's yarn. And this colorway is 10 questions. She named this for me, what, a year ago, two years ago? So this colorway is called 10 questions. And this pattern is, this pattern, I'm going to tell you, hold, please, hold, please, hold, please, Lizzie. So this is the Lizzie by Coco Knits. It's in the Coco Knits Method book workbook workshop so you need that that book in order to do this because you know with coco knits all the business is in the shop the shoulders everything is top down and that's what this sweater is and it's just a little it comes to just it. so here again here's another situation with uh alternating scales i did and you see how it's lighter on the bottom but it worked out because it did the same on the sleeves. <laughs> but this is just a little perfect for the spring finger and weight. And that's Coco Knits. The group is on Ravelry. If you, Kathy Street, hold that, that thought. Marie Halsey, if you search Gigi Made It on Ravelry, you'll find the group. Kathy, yes. Bye, Trish. I love you more. Enjoy your sleepover. Have fun. Um, yes, this is the, the Buck Beak pullover by Denise Williams Johnson. And it is in the, the new Harry Potter book. Yes. That's what I love about a poncho too. Easy on and off. Especially when you're a woman of a certain age and you have power surges. You don't have 
Not one hand knit sweater. We got to fix that, Adela. Thank you, Livy. So that was it, guys. It is almost four o'clock. So we've been out here for approximately an hour. I wanted to come on and thank you guys. Give answer some questions, the multiple questions that I've been getting about the knit along. Um, I wanted to reassure. <laughs> Power surges are not fun at all. I wanted to reassure those that were uncomfortable with bobbles and cables that we got you back. We will take care of that for you without a problem. If the tutorial doesn't do it, somebody in the group, if not me, will walk you through it. So unless anybody has any additional questions, I am going to end this and go start my dinner. So me and my baby will have something to eat on in an hour or so. Anybody have any questions? You just did your first Bible ever. The tutorial was great. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Tracy, thank you for being here. You don't know what that means to me. Thank you so much. Wait, wait. Adela said wait. I'm waiting, Adela. I'm waiting. I love you guys too. Mwah, 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 mwah. She said you should do this once a week during the knit along. Who said that? Adela. You should. Okay, we can try to work that out. Wait, Whitney, odd number cast on or most. The original cast on is 99, which is an odd number, Whitney. So if you're going to increase that, whatever you increase it to, I would make it an odd number and then add nine. Does that make sense? Yay, Cassandra, I love you too. Oh, Autumn, right back at you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Vivian, you know, you, you got it, Whitney? Okay. Adela. What is Adela saying? Whitney, man, come here to do long division and I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for being here. I appreciate you also. And as I get pictures and things of the gifts that the sponsors are giving, I'll be sharing them in my stories on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I would follow because that's more real time. I will be sharing things in the group as well. Bree, uh, you know my heart just swelled when I saw you come in. Hi, my honey. Hi, Tawana. So everybody enjoy their Sunday. Be safe and say it with me. Wash your hands. I got soap. I got soap. Come on in here because I got soap. Well, you know everybody don't you have soap. Need... <laughs> they running out of it. <laughs> you know you want to use some soap so you can can wash your hands. You know, you want to wash your hands. Yeah, here, Shelby. You they say bye, Shelby. <laughs> wash your hands. Hey, wash your, your, your hands. And stay home. A daddy talk to us. <laughs> so we're going to leave on this. Ready? I got yarn. I got yarn. yarn. Come, Come on in okay. here and cast on. I got, I got, I got yarn. Come on in here and cast on. I got, I got, Evelyn say bye, Shelby. I got, mm, 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 I got, uh, 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 I got, bye. Uh, I got, y'all heard daddy stay in the house. I got, wash your hands. I got, I'll tell Gunner hi. I got, Tracy, I love you. I got, uh, 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 I got, everybody have a good Sunday. I got, uh, 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 I got yarn. I got yarn. Come on in here and cast on. You know you want to cast on. I got, I got, I got yarn. I got yarn. I got yarn. I don't care that Adela says they all sound the same. That's my favorite beat. And every song is going to be like that. I got, <laughs> I got, 
Bye, y'all. <laughs> I got... <laughs> I got... <laughs>